What's up, Random Phantom? How's it going? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, welcome to part two of uh, my series where I talk about my favorite movie posters, and this time it is the 2000s. Um, down in the description below or uh, in the notation above, you'll have the link to part one of the 2010s of my favorite movie posters. So uh, without delay, let's just get into it and uh, talk about them. Alright, so up first, we have Public Enemies. Um, I just absolutely love this poster. It's just Depp with the Tommy gun, you know, Public Enemies with the uh, logo there. Um, this is a great movie. I, I, John Dillinger and all that kind of stuff, gangster. Whew. This poster is just something every time I look at it. Like, it really, really gets to me. Um, and then we have The Terminal. Um... I love how this everybody's blurred out, but uh, Tom Hanks' character, a great Steven Spielberg film with uh, Tom Hanks. This is basically just showing the chaos around him and how he's just oblivious to it and uh, how he's just excited, you know, for with the plot of him being exciting to go to America. That's definitely one of my favorite posters. Um, then we have The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Um... This movie definitely is something I, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, definitely gets me every time I look at it. It's I have huge nostalgia for it. It's a fantastic poster. You got Frodo and all the gang and all that kind of stuff. So up next is Treasure Planet. Um, big fan of this one. Um, such an underrated flick, but I love the poster. Uh, him. Just looking up towards the moon and whatever. The sh flying ship there. Um, then up next is Vantage Point. Um, basically, this movie is about uh, all eight others, oh, eight witnesses to a tragedy and whatever. And you got all the witnesses and on this uh, poster. Um, it's so good. I, I mean, it's such a thriller where, you know, you have every... Uh, point of view from them so it's 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 really good um then we have minority report um it's, it's pretty simple you just have uh tom cruise's character um in the blue with the mask on then you have it that eye and whatever um and then up next is probably one of the best posters of all time i seriously love this poster you have the dark knight it's uh, the joker Standing there all in defiance. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very eerie and, uh, creepy, but also fantastic at the same time. Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Um, then up next is, uh, Superman Returns. Um, yeah, it's not the best movie in the world, but, I mean, look at this poster. I mean, you have Superman, you have his cape flapping. <laughs> Anybody who's watches Tyrone Magnus knows what I, knows all about that. <laughs> uh, you have you know, you know the world down below. You have the logo, and whatever. It's it's actually a pretty great poster. Um, and then up next is Hellboy Two: The Golden Army. Um, really, really good. Uh, love you know how he's in the middle of you know an action sequence with uh, him pounding the ground and that gun smoking. Uh, and then we have the new world. Um, such a beautiful uh, poster. The cinematography in this film is great. And you really get the sense of that with this poster. It's one of the best. Um, and then we have night at the museum battle of the Smithsonian. This one is just simply because I have huge nostalgia for the movie, and I, every time I look at this poster, there's just something so friendly about it, so, you know, something that just, you know, gets me every time I look at it. And then we have Troy. I just love the coloration, the saturated, uh, um, orangish, grayish, uh, brownish, uh, color to this. It is a really nice poster. Um, you have him, you know, running and all that kind of stuff, Brad Pitt. <laughs> um, and then we have The Departed Just them simply standing around Giving those stares and all that kind of stuff um, Great movie too It's I enjoy Like when I look at this It's something that just like Okay you know it's a fantastic movie um, And then we have The Vanima of the Opera Probably one of my favorite posters ever um, The cinematography 
like I was saying with the New World, this one has the same you know tone to it with uh, um, the cinematography, and it shows on just on the poster, like, and uh, I just love how like the lighting of it is. Um, and then we have the Inglorious Bastards, such a good movie. Um, <laughs> I love I love how like the Nazi symbol is like just you know. Um, dusted, being dusted away, and whatever. Um, I love uh, the way they're walking, and whatever, and how he's got his uh, face in the poster. Um, and then we have War of the Worlds. Tom Cruise, Steven Spielberg. I absolutely love like the uh, tone um, that they got to it with uh, the world, and then like the alien holding uh, Earth on it. It's a uh, pretty, pretty uh, eerie. Um, and then we have The Tale of Despero, one of my favorite posters for an animated film. Um, you just look at it, it brings a certain tone and uh, feel to the uh, poster. Um, it's such a great uh, uh, look for the uh, um, poster. And then we have Tom Hanks's The Polar Express. Um, I'm like one of those people that just enjoy, you know, most Christmas movies and this this is definitely one of those times where it's like man you you just look at the size of the Polar Express and the kid and it just you know gives that uh, whole perspective on that um, and then we have Rambo the uh, not the new one but the uh, one from 2008 this one just gives that badass feel to it <laughs> um, Panic Room another one of my personal favorites I love the color tone. I love, you know, the shots from the film and how it just, like, panic room. Holy cow. Like, it just brings a tense feel to the uh, poster. Um, and then we have The Patriot. Um, definitely feeling this one, like, every time I look at it. Like, I love, you know, Mel Gibson and uh, all that stuff. But this poster is just one of those things where it's like, okay. You, you totally give that um, gritty feel to the war of 1776 and all that kind of stuff. Fantastic stuff. Um, yeah, mean, <laughs> mean Girls. I mean, it's such a great film. I had to put it on here because it, it's like, it's so simple. You got the girls there, and then you have her with uh, the Mean Girls um, logo, you know, down on the side uh, on, by her back, like as if she's leaning on it. I love that. Um, then we have There Will Be Blood. Um, I love the color tone, I love the saturation, and then, like, the little, like, the sun shining on his face, all ominous and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we have Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, love that. Um, it's so simple, too. Um, yeah, just him sitting there, like, with, uh, his, uh, razor and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> all nonchalant. Um, and then we have Collateral, um, love how Tom Cruise is just... You know, sitting there with his gun, you know, looking ominously out of the out of frame, um, and I just love the brown color tone and everything. Um, and then we have uh, up next before sunset, uh, you get that other color tone, um, and then we have uh, Batman Begins. Same as you can tell, I think we have such a love. I have such a love for this kind of uh, tone for um, posters. Um, then we have Memorial Day, Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Um, so simple, yet it's just so gritty feeling. Um, and then we have Atonement, one of my favorite movies of all time. You got uh, Kira Knightley at the bottom, and you got James McAvery at the top. Both different color tones with Sir Saoirse Ronan in the middle. Um, and then you have Road to Perdition, another Tom Hanks film. Um, I love the the Dutch angle that they give to the uh, poster um, with his Tommy gun and whatever in the rain. It's such a great uh, shot. Um, and then we have Signs. <laughs> yeah, I think we can say I love this brownish color, uh, dirty color tone to movies and stuff in the posters. Um, and then we have Pride and Prejudice, more of a lighter, but... Uh, it's so simple, and yet it has such a nice uh, feel and uh, feel to it. Uh, then we have K nineteen, the Widowmaker. Um, just has a whole f tense feeling to it. 
Um, you have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oof. I love how it gives that early 2000s feel to it. Um, and then we have V for Vendetta. So simple, and yet it has a nice blue colorish tone to it, um, giving off the character. Fantastic. Um, and then we have Unbreakable, another blue type uh, tone to it. Uh, and then we have King Kong. I love the shot and whatever. Um, we have Watchmen. So good. Uh, and then we have Fantastic Mr. Fox. This is the Criterion poster to it. I absolutely adore this because it's, I mean, Criterion is so good with uh, their posters and all that. And this is one of their best. And it's so great to look at. Then we have Spider-Man 2. Like every time I look at this one, like, oh my word. Like, I absolutely adore this poster where it's just like nostalgia reasons and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we have Prince Caspian. Uh Got a simple tone there. You have Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. I love this because it's like I just am uh, such a huge fan of it. And I look at it and just like, hey, it's one of those ones where, you know, you get nostalgia and you get a uh, good feeling from it. Um, and then we have The Mist. Uh, lo love the eerie tone to that. Um, we have The Last Samurai. <laughs> uh, can you tell? Um, Hot Fuzz. Uh, we have Valkyrie. I love that. Love the color tone and the feel to that one. Um, Apopolos, Apopolosa. Um, really love the uh, way it's uh, they're bringing it about. Um, and then we have Aragon, greenish tone color. Um, we have the angle from basically for them looking down. Love, love that. I absolutely love that. Then we have the road. Ugh. I mean, I love the gritty feel to this. Um, and then we have Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Don't know, I have much to say about that. We have Master and Commander of the Far Side of the World. I mean, just looking at that, look how beautiful that poster is. I mean, it, I love how, you know, gritty and uh, intense feeling that looks. Um, and then we have Seabiscuit. Such a, another uh, fantastic poster. Um, and then we have 310 to Yuma. I just lo I love how he's just standing there, you know, intensely. The train coming towards him, him holding two guns and all that. Um, then we have nine. We have Spider Man three. Oh, I just love the movie. May not be that great, but this this is just one of those times where it's like, man, I love that. Um, and then we have Amelia. Love the color tone. Love how the cinematography in the film matches the tone of the poster. Uh, and then we have Walk the Line. We have Casino Royale. Oh, man, look at that. Um, we have Taken. There's just something about Taken with uh, the poster and that. It's just like one of those, you know, ominous looking. And you just look at it and you're just like, wow, interesting. And um, then you have Kingdom of Heaven. <laughs> uh, Apocalypto. Changeling. We have Brothers. I just love how, like, it's so simple. Where if you know the story, they're both just all three of them are just standing there, looking one way. It's just one of those posters that like, it's just so simple yet it tells so much in just the poster. Uh, and then we have Pirates of the Caribbean, and then last but not least we have Lost in Translation. Bill Murray sitting on his bed, just giving a feel to this where that is. <laughs> A whole tone to it that just gives off the whole film in just the poster. That's what posters do. That's what posters are supposed to do is give the tone and feel of the movie just looking at the poster. And this totally does that in just the poster. And that was my video of my favorite movie, Posters Part 2, the 2000s. I just want to let you guys know if you are new here and you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Um... I just want to let you guys know if uh, you are new to subscribing, you can click the bell to get notified of future videos. If you are a returning subscriber, I seriously appreciate you. Um, I just want to say thank you to Mark McKeever for suggesting this idea. Um, seriously appreciate it, Mark. Uh, he's one of my patrons. I have a patron, just to let you guys know. Um, 
you can uh, request videos like this, like Mark did, um, and uh, get early access to videos and a whole bunch of sorts of stuff like that. Um, I just want to let you guys know I have a Twitter as well where you can uh, follow me and uh, get movie news and a bunch of other stuff like that. I have a Discord if you'd like to join because you get uh, to interact with me and a bunch of other people. So I'm just wanting to say one last time I appreciate you guys. Stay random. <laughs>